Well, welcome back into Wake Up Washington. Now to a pretty important discussion that uh, may impact you and your family. It's not what you want to hear when you hit the beach this summer, but a new study finds that cases of flesh eating bacteria will be on the rise. Our partners at CBS News note that five cases of Vibrio bacteria infection have occurred in the Delaware Bay in the last two years. That's something that scientists say is pretty rare. Uh, we've reported on nine cases last year in Virginia and severe case and uh, severe cases that is of a Maryland man who was infected by this. Our weather expert Mary Marshall now joining us. She's been researching this issue. Uh, Mary, so first tell us what is Vibrio and what should we know about it? Well, Vibrio, it's a bacteria that normally lives in salt water. It lives in brackish water, such as the Chesapeake Bay, that mixture of salt and fresh water. Yeah. And there are several different kinds of it that are out there. So think of places like the oceans and the Chesapeake Bay. That is where we would find uh, Vibrio. Yeah, so this large variety, um, 50, 60, even up to 100 different types of them, just to name a few, you have Vibrio parahemolyticus, which can cause like nausea, vomiting, and other gastrointestinal issues. And also there's Vibrio vulnificus. This is the one mm. where the guy suffered with the skin infection yeah. uh, that can cause that flesh eating skin infection. It can be very, very serious. And that's the one that this study uh, was based on. Well, you know, in fact, our, our Scott Broom actually interviewed a, a Maryland man uh, who nearly died from the flesh eating bacteria. He was out fishing on the Chesapeake Bay near Sandy Point. This was back in July of 2017. And these images may be a little bit disturbing. So if, if you're yeah. having breakfast, you, you maybe want to look away for a moment. But as you can see here, he suffered a severe injury to his leg. That's what you're looking at and this happened within hours of him handling a fish that cut his leg. Yeah, that's it. Those open wounds. That's one of the ways you can get infected with Vibrio. You've got an open cut. You've got an open wound. You go into the water that's infected with it. It gets into your body and causes uh, major problems. Also, uh, just eating raw or undercooked seafood. Oyster lovers, beware. Oh, wow. uh, if it's infected with that, then also can cause you some problems. So that is what you really got to be careful of. What does this study think? Well, what do you think that uh, this this uh, climate has to do with cases like this or if at all? Well, you know, I looked at this study and then um, I looked at several studies. I don't just want to see one case. I want to see a proven track record right. of this. And I conclude as the studies do that warmer waters will just make a better environment uh, for this Brivio. Vibrio. We have seen uh, a correlation to the warmer waters in the Vibrio. The warmer the water, the better habitat for mm -hmm. them. Uh, with warming ocean water, we could see this bacteria growing in other places. Uh, I looked at this study. Um, I looked at several of them, and uh, you know they were showing how that it only needs a minimum temperature of about 59 degrees to oh, wow. grow in. And we've noted warmer temperatures in more than 92% of the bay's warmers. And another study found that stream temperatures in the bay were up by maybe 2.52 degrees in the Chesapeake region. And we could see, it's estimated, one study said that we could see a 16% uh, increase in the Chesapeake Bay. One thing I also want to note is that water has a high specific heat value. So once it heats up, it takes a while to cool off. So you get it warmer mm -hmm. and it's going to stay warmer for a warmer time. So uh, just put it this way. You're just making it easier on the Vibrio. If it needs a crack to get in through, now you're about to bust that door wide open. Mm, so if you have a cut, don't go in or what? Wrap it up is your best advice. Yes, definitely. Okay. Very interesting stuff and a little scary to think about, but we need to know it. So. Definitely. All right, girl. Thank you so much Anything? for that.